This video is sponsored by Santa Cruz Software. Hi, I'm Lori Rulin. I just received my Christmas cards back from the printer, which I did in InDesign, of course, and I would like to put on my addresses onto the envelopes, my return address as well as the addressee, so that I can just run them right through my printer and I don't have to worry about those pesky little labels. I'm going to use Data Merge in InDesign as well as my Excel spreadsheet. So come on, let me show you how. This is what I want my envelope to look like. So I'm going to select my return address and then create a new document. I've already measured my envelope and I want to make sure that it is a portrait orientation. It does go through the printer this way. So I want to make sure to choose portrait and I'll uncheck facing pages and I'll click create. Here's my blank document and I'll go to the master page because everything I want to do here with data merge goes on the master page. I'll choose edit and paste and you'll see that it does paste in sideways and that's because on the other document I had this as a rotated spread view so I'll just rotate that one 90 degrees. I'm actually going to do the same thing for this page for later. So here it is rotated that way as well. All right, so I'm going to come back here to the master page and I want to steal my paragraph styles from my other documents. So again, I'll copy it, come back to this one and paste it in and you'll see here come the paragraph styles into my new document. All right, I'm ready to make my addresses. I'll go ahead and select a large text frame, but now I need to populate it with the information from Excel. So I'm going to flip over here to Excel and you'll notice that I have my names, addresses, etc. as the top or header of each one of those columns in Excel. To save this, I need to save it as one of two different versions and that is a CSV format or a TXT. Those are the two formats that Excel can be saved in or Word and can be read by InDesign. So I'll go ahead and uh, save this. I've already got it saved and now I'm ready to make my data merge. I'll go to Window, Utilities and Data Merge and then choose from the menu, select data source. I'll go grab my CSV file and you'll see that I've got my name, address, and city that's automatically populated. By simply clicking on these words here, it's going to populate it into my text frame. So I'll just click on address, hit return, city, hit my comma and a space, state, space, and a zip. And then I'll select these two lines for the address and apply my address paragraph style and I'll do the same thing for the name. All right, let's take a look at what this looks like. I'll hit my preview button and you'll see that I can preview this on and off with the first record. I'll click on the little arrow here to go to the next record and the next one and I can test out and make sure that it looks the way I want. Once I'm happy with everything, I'll go into my magic menu here and say create merged document. I want a single record per page, so I really don't have to do anything in this box except click OK. And now you'll see that a brand new document is being created that has 25 pages. And you'll see that each one of these, if I go to the double click on page one and page two, you'll see that each one of them is going to be a separate record and a separate um, address on my envelope. Now the cool thing about using a master page and paragraph styles is if I need to modify this, I can just go back to my master, move this down, or go to my paragraph style and change the color or the font of one of my paragraph styles. And now you'll see that each one of these is going to reflect that change. That's why I love to use data merge and paragraph styles to use for my envelopes. All right, so hopefully your envelopes for both the holidays and for the rest of the year are gonna be a lot easier to create with data merge in InDesign. Happy holidays. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creatorpro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.